So I uploaded a video yesterday called Why I Lost Respect for Logan Paul. I'm sure if you're watching this video, you've probably already seen the video I'm talking about. But the video got over 50,000 views and I have almost like 500 new subscribers. And to all the new supporters I have, Thank you so much for supporting that video. I wanted to reply to all the comments, but I just couldn't because there were so many. And to everybody who left a positive comment, I cannot thank you enough. But with all the love and support my video received, it got a lot of hate, and I was expecting that. The video I made got over 600 dislikes, and I couldn't tell if that was because people didn't agree with me or if people just found me annoying. It was probably a little bit of both. And I do appreciate everyone's support, but I did kind of want to address the hate a bit and kind of talk about the claims that people are making against me in the comment section. Some people have arguments against me that don't really make much sense, and I just kind of wanted to talk um, about them rather than replying in the comments because it's probably more efficient if I uh, film this video. So I noticed there were a lot of people trying to find the re-uploaded Logan Paul video and they were finding my video. For example, this comment says, can't find the video because of boring like you coming up when I'm searching. Well, you're clearly not doing a very good job searching because all you literally have to look up is we found a dead body re-uploaded and there are plenty of options. And what were you expecting? My video was literally titled Why I Lost Respect for Logan Paul. It was clearly like a commentary. It, from the title, you can tell it's going to be me voicing my opinion. Shut up. Uh, no. He actually did have his security call the cops. Dumb I never said he didn't call the cops. I said if I were in the situation, I would have called the cops and left. I wouldn't have recorded the body. Another common theme was that people were like, oh, everyone makes mistakes. We need to forgive him. And I agree with you. Everybody does make mistakes. One, two, three, four. Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. Everybody makes mistakes. But just because somebody makes a mistake does not mean that they should be immune from criticism. You are a virgin, though. Well, uh, y you got me there. Not really sure what that has to do with the video, but darn, I, I, I can't come back from that one. You are ugly bitch. Go in Suicide Forest and do it yourself. It really saddens me that a lot of Logan Paul supporters leave these hate comments, which first of all, leaving hate comments is fine. That's, you know, I get that. But if you're leaving hate comments that mock suicide, you're not making yourself look any better. Why are you such a only 12 year olds watch Logan's vlogs. Are you good, bro? My bad. I shouldn't have said that all of Logan's subscribers are 12 years old. Uh, you know, some of them are 11. What do you mean it's a clickbait? That's a f***ing real dead body. I, n I never said it was clickbait. If you actually watched the video, I said that I wished it was clickbait. I never said the video was clickbait. Who are you and why should I care about your opinion on this? Just because someone has a small following doesn't mean that their arguments are not valid. I admit that I'm irrelevant and nobody really knows who I am, but just because I'm a nobody doesn't mean I can have a voice in this thing. If we're under this impression that only big people in the YouTube community can stand up against like nonsense, then I don't know where we're gonna go from here. You're cute when you talk. What's your Instagram? Oh, that's not a hate comment. Also, hit me up on Instagram, at Eric Moran Films. I'll, I'll follow you back. I don't see what the big deal is. Why is everyone tripping over his video? Uh, he, he filmed the dead guy. Um, that I... <laughs> you Logan is a good guy. IDK why people are so upset. I mean, he has handled that situation with fun and good humor. So what's wrong with that? Hashtag I support Logan Paul. Hashtag make America great again. Say you have a loved one who dies and you handle with humor. You know, that's okay because, you know, if that's your way with coping with it and you kind of keep it to yourself, it's really not that big of a deal. But you're joking about someone who you have never met, you don't know, and broadcast it to 15 million people there's a problem there. STFU kid, you trying to get views. And if you got some problems, come over here to California. Actually, I will be going to California this summer for VidCon. If you're gonna be there, let me know in the comments below. I get why people think I was using this situation for money or fame. First of all, I did not want to monetize the video. But if I did, it wouldn't be suitable for advertisers. It literally has suicide in the title. And if you look at my channel, I really don't talk about YouTube drama that much. The YouTube drama that I talk talk about is usually stuff that I am passionate about and stuff that angers me. So if I really just wanted views and fame, I would be making all these videos on all these different trending topics, but I don't do that. If you actually look at my channel, I have a variety of content that I work really hard on and it only really gets 200 or 300 views. They really don't do that well, but I keep making them because I enjoy to make them. I was obviously, I was not expecting this video to get as many views as it did. I was expecting, yeah, maybe a couple thousand views. Can you repost the vid, but STFU throughout? 
about it. I, I really don't want to get copyrighted. Also, it's a commentary video. If you couldn't tell by the title, clearly I was going to be talking about it. I wasn't going to be showing you the entire video. And there were a ton of other mean comments, but I couldn't get to all of them because, I mean, th there were a lot of them and this video would be like three hours long. So about an hour ago, at the time I am filming this video, Logan Paul released a video actually telling his fans to not support his action. For my fans who are defending my actions, please don't. They do not deserve to be defended. But they still act as if he is infallible. And I will admit, Logan Paul did a good thing here by telling his fans, hey guys, I screwed up, do not support my action. And I hate to say it, but he'll be fine. Like, in a couple weeks, I feel like a lot of people would have forgotten about this. Here's today's comment of the day. This was an awesome comment that I pinned on my last video. It really touched me, and I really appreciated the comment. If you want to get comment of the day, all you have to do is leave a comment down below, or let me know that you have my post notifications on. I will be doing post notification shoutouts. All you have to do is click that bell in the corner so you will get updated every time I make a video because YouTube does not like to put my videos in the sub boxes. This is the last video I will be making about the situation. There's really nothing else I have to say. I'm not going to milk this any further. I appreciate all the support. If you want to follow me on my social media, my Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat are all Eric Moran Films. I'll make sure to follow you back. Make sure to leave a like. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Subscribe if you have not already, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.